Alrighty then, welcome back to Lumos. How are you? It has been day one for Wizards Unite because it's finally out for US and UK. Except for the rest of the world who's still waiting for Wizards Unite. But nevertheless, we will proceed with this video. So today, we're going to talk about something very important because I've been checking Reddit and, and I've noticed a pattern. People are complaining about spell energies. People are not getting enough of them. People want something passive that's happening. People are using more spell energy than what they can get. So we're gonna talk more about spell energies. So this is an in-depth guide for spell energies. How you can get more, where you can get them, what you can do to conserve them, and some more information so you can have a better understanding of what spell energies are. I already talked about this in my how-to video. If you haven't seen that, it is linked right there. So again, a quick recap. Spell energies is what you use to return foundables and to battle fortresses. And that's why it has been very problematic. It's what you use most. You not only use it for foundables, but you also use it for fortresses. Unlike in Pokemon Go where you use Pokeballs for Pokemon and then you use raid passes for raids. That has been a pretty big issue here on Reddit. A lot of people are saying, can't get enough, I'm, I'm quitting, day one, <laughs> day one he's already quitting. I don't like this energy system, blah 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 blah. I mean, I get some concerns but yeah, some people are complaining, why is this not like the energy system in Hogwarts Mystery where you get some kind of passive time and you have to buy diamonds or something? I'm not sure, I haven't played Hogwarts Mystery. That's why I didn't play Hogwarts Mystery. It's because of that stupid energy system and the, the things that you have to buy. At least with Pokemon Go, with Wizards Unite, with Ingress, all you have to do is get to the nearest portal, Pokestop, or Inn, and that's where you can get most of the items that you need. But it seems like there's also an issue with their system here because I don't think people are getting enough from these inns. I think they need to tweak their system a little bit so that people would be happier because right now you can get from 1 to 10 spell energy and I think you have to make spell energy more common. Maybe maybe make it as like 5 to 10 spell energy. That would definitely help out a lot. Quick fact about inns, there are 5 types of ins and depending on the end that you went to that's how many spell energies you can get so you should incorporate more colored ins in your route you can also go to greenhouses but you can only get like two spell energy from those greenhouses there's also this thing with ins that if there are more ins in the area they would give out less spell energies but if you live in like a suburban or a rural area, the inns in that area would definitely give more spell energies. It kind of balances out the urban and the rural life, but I don't think that's enough. Now, you can always upgrade your spell energy capacity. I think right now, this is the best thing, the thing that you should invest on, getting spell energy capacity so you can hold more spell energies so there are two options here with with upgrading your bags you can go for the economical upgrade where you use the vault extensions pack where you upgrade every pack that you have or you can go to the faster route where you will just upgrade the spell energy capacity i think depending on how you play these upgrades are going to help a lot if you do not want to spend real money on these extensions on these upgrades it can still be achievable as a free to play player you can always get coins from daily assignments and you can also get daily treasures that gives enough for an upgrade within a month 
All right, so quick insert here because I found another information about spell energies. So the dishes that you get in inns has an effect on how many spell energies you would get. So you would get one energy from a tomato soup or an afternoon tea from brown inns and purple inns. You would get two energy from Bertie Bot's Every Flavor Beans and Pumpkin Juice in green inns and blue ends and purple ends etc 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 you can just look at this chart right here and plan for everything that you need and you would get 10 energy from a turkey dinner it's a, it's a chicken dinner but yeah all right so i'm gonna give you some quick tips about spell energies these are do's and don'ts for spell energies all right so number one is you have to practice returning foundables because if you fail your spell casting like you're missing points you're lifting your finger before the completion of the spell cast it will consume energy so you have to practice you have to get good so that you would avoid failed spells so you would conserve more spell energies if you're going to do wizarding challenges you should go for the low level power levels in those wizarding challenges because they're practically easier and it would take you less energy to use you should also level up as quickly as you can because if you level up it would give bonuses to spell success chance and if you are running very very low on spell energies consider trying to return only high threat level foundables just ignore the low level ones first because if they're low level you will probably see them again and for me this is what i would do in this situation i would hoard spell energy i would just upgrade my spell energy capacity hoard spell energies and only use these spell energies when i actually need them also don't dump your energy in those greenhouse spots because that consumes a lot and uh, you just wait for plants to grow one last tip is that you should try to keep a mental note of which foundables you've already got because returning more of these completed foundables gives significantly reduced family xp rewards so it's not a good investment for your spell energy so just a quick recap for for everything that we've discussed go to more inns go to different colored inns upgrade your extensions pack get good at returning foundables if that's still not enough for you and that's maybe when you should start buying these spell energies in the Diagon Alley store. You're going to need spell energies a lot and I hope that Niantic listens to the people and that they would tweak their system a bit so that people would definitely be happier. Anyway, that is it. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something. I hope the things that we've discussed today will help you with your magical journey. That is it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.